it's recording. Hello, everybody. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> yeah. Great. Good afternoon. Do we have pa uh, power? <laughs> homework pending? No. No homework? No homework. <sighs> okay, no homework. <laughs> Hi, Jackie. Hi. Let's continue where we left off yesterday. Okay. Yes. So, where is, what is it about? Ah, yes, I remember. So what you're saying is? I'm going to give you the story one more time. So you ladies can listen again and read the story at the same time again. Okay. Just a little second. Sometimes it takes a little longer to load. There. There, can you see it? Mm, no, yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Perfect. So, what are they talking about? Remember? Yes. Yeah. yeah. What are they talking about, Lauren? To travel. To travel. To space. Travel to space. Yes, Jackie. Remember, Jackie? Yes. Yeah. Jackie wants to go there. Yeah, yeah, Jackie wants to go there, yes, on a spaceship to do some space tourism. Let's listen to the conversation one more time. Vacations in space with... I read this article that said people would be taking vacations in space within a couple of decades. Can you imagine going into space? It would be such a weird sensation. Weird in what way? Isn't it just like being on a plane, only higher up? Yeah, but imagine being weightless and floating around. Oh, you mean eating your lunch upside down. Yeah, that would be weird. But it'd be fascinating, like the trip of a lifetime, a voyage into the unknown. So what you're saying is you could live out your Star Trek fantasy. Hmm. I think I'd prefer to keep my feet on the ground. So I guess you won't be coming then, when I blast off into outer space? I doubt it. You know I don't even like roller coasters. So there you have it. Remember what does Wen say? Would Wen like to go? To a space? Yeah. Yeah, would he like to go? Yes. Yes. What about she? Would she like to go? No. That's right. What does he think about a trip to space? Fascinating. Fascinating. What does she think about travel to space? Mm. Ah, ah, you don't remember. Ethan is just like being. Just like being on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that true, Lauren? Do you think? Do you agree with <laughs> her? Okay, that's good. Ladies, can you please practice the conversation? Yes. Who first? You, Annie. 
Annie, because Annie didn't come yesterday. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I read this article that said people will be taking vacation in a space. Annie. Would it, what? Yes, you teacher. Again? I read. I read, there you go. Thank you, continue. I read this article that said people will be taking vacation in a space within a couple of decades. Can you imagine going Dec into space? De decades. Decades, decades. Okay. It would be such a weird sensation. Lauren. Weird in what way? Isn't it just like being on a plane only higher up? Only higher up? Jackie? Yeah, but imagine being weightless and floating around. Oh, you mean? Being. And uh, Ismael, please. Yeah. I read? Yeah, please read. Okay. Um, oh, you mean getting your lungs upside down? Yeah, that would be worried. Go ahead, Annie. But it be fascinating, like the trip of, of a lifetime, a voyage into the unknown. A voyage. 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 I, I think it was French. <laughs> uh, yeah, it comes from the French word. Like bon voyage. Yes. <laughs> In English, it's pronounced voyage. Voyage into yeah. the unknown. So what you're saying is you could live out your Star Trek fantasy. Mm, I think I prefer to keep my feet on the ground. So I guess you won't be coming then when I blast off into other outer space. Ismael? I doubt. I doubt it. I, I doubt, doubt it. it. I, I doubt it. You know, I don't ever like roller coasters. Perfect. Now, who do you agree with? I agree with Win. No. <laughs> I find. <laughs> yeah, you agree with Win. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I so, agree with Win. You do? Yes. Nice. Why not? <laughs> so, Lauren, Win, Annie, who else? Jackie, I mean, my Smile too. I think so. Yeah. Lord, uh, Jackie, who do you agree with? Gwen. Yes. With Gwen too? Ismael, yeah. what about you, sir? Who do you agree with? I'm sure. With Gwen? Then mm -hmm. what about you, Lauren? Who do you agree with? Uh, hi, fan? Uh, oh, my God. Yes. Hi, fan. You, yeah, hi, fan. You prefer to keep you prefer to keep your feet on the on ground. The yes? Yes. Perfect. There you go. Thank you. Now, can you please read the uh, the notice, Annie? Yes. How high fun and when draw conclusion from what the other one says using expression like this, see? Like this. Like this. Find examples in the conversation. Can you read the example, the, the expressions, please, uh, Ismael? You mean? Yes. So you are saying that? Yeah. So what you're saying is? Yes. So I guess then. Perfect. So what, where are the expressions in the conversation. The first one is? Oh, you mean eating your lunch upside okay. down? Another one? 
So what you're saying is you could leave out your Star Trek. Fantasy. And the last one? So I guess you won't be coming? Then. Then. Oh, yes. And the first one is you mean eating your lunch upside down. There you go. Do you remember, ladies, what are these things? What are these sentences? Yes. What are they? A conclusion. A uh, it's a conclusion from what? The other people, the other person say. What the other person says. Perfect. Yes, Annie? Yes. Easy. I think so. Very nice. So, complete the rest of the conversation with the expressions above. These expressions. Then practice. Do you agree with the views? Discuss with a partner. Open your books and complete this conversation with expressions, please. Yes, can you open your books? Yes. What page is it, Lauren? Um, 110. 110, guys. Thank you, Lauren. Page 110. And I'll give you one minute, okay? Okay. Thank you. So you are saying that you would find it too scary? Scary. Lauren, what do you have? I have you mean. Okay. Lucky and Israel, scary. what do you guys have? What you are saying is. Uh-huh. And Miguel? I'm sorry, uh, Ismael. <laughs> what you saying is? Can you repeat, please? What are you saying is? Yes, good. What about for number two? What do you have? I guess. I guess. I guess. And what do you have, Jackie? So you are saying... Yeah, it's good too. Now, just check it out how then it's only with I guess. Right? And on the number two, we have then. But what you said, it could work. It could work. All right. What about you, uh, Mr. Ismael? What do you have? Yes. Okay, what about number three? I grow, you mean? You mean, okay, Lauren? You're saying that? <laughs> yeah, and Jackie and Ismail? Me too. Me too. Yeah, you too, perfect. Let's go in groups and practice, guys, please. There. Let's go, please. Okay. In, in practice. Okay. Ready? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Thank you very much, guys. Let's go for the next one. Can you read, please, Ismael? In what way? Continue. Hey, you can use in what way? To ask for more details about some of ideas and opinions. Perfect. Jackie, example, please. It been such a weird experience. Weird in what way? Weird in what way? All we're doing here, all we have is a small question. Weird or, I'm sorry, in what way? And this is only to ask for more details. That's all. 
just more details. So listen to the start of five conversations. This is the start. Okay. Then you're going to hear in what way. And the person is going to say more information, more details. Now, the details are right here. All you have to do is listen and check which letter do they respond. A, B, C, D, or E, or F, okay? You ready? Yeah. yeah. Eating meals in space would be so weird. Weird in what way? Two, space travel must be bad for the environment. In what way? Three, going into space would be terrifying. Terrifying in what way? Four, sitting in a tiny cabin would be frustrating. Frustrating in what way? Five, a space vacation would be life-changing. In what way? Okay, what do you guys have for number one? The last one, E. The last one, E. Well, imagine your pizza floating around. What about number one? No. Number one is letter E. Yes. Okay. Continue. Number two. Letter D. Number three. Letter D. B. D again? B. B, 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 B. Ah, oh, B. B as in boy. Yes. yes. Number four? A. A. Five. Three. Okay, is that it? Yes. All right, so check your answers. One. Eating meals in space would be so weird. Weird in what way? Well, imagine your pizza floating around. Two, space travel must be bad for the environment. In what way? Well, for one thing, it pollutes the atmosphere. Three, going into space would be terrifying. Terrifying in what way? You can't escape if something goes wrong. Four, sitting in a tiny cabin would be frustrating. Frustrating in what way? I'd want to be outside doing a spacewalk. Five. A space vacation would be life-changing. In what way? You'd never look at things in the same way again. Okay. Are your answers correct? Yes. Yes. What's number one? Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> The answer? Oh, <laughs> imagine the pizza floating around. Yes. What about number two? Space travel must be bad for the environment. In what well, way? Well, for one, oh, really in what way? Mm, well, for one thing, it 
pollutes the atmosphere. It pollutes, yes. Number three. You can escape if something goes wrong. Okay, that's right. Number four. I want to be outside during a space walk. Perfect. And number five. Use, use never look at things at the same way again. Okay. And what do you see? The sea. Uh -oh. Yeah, what's happening? The scuba diving. Scuba do you diving. like this type of activities? Is it interesting for you? Yeah. What about, oh my goodness, what about this? <gasps> you, you would like to do it, Lauren? No. You smile? Oh. What about you, Jackie? No. No? Nobody. Neither, neither would I. What about this? Maybe you, it could be. Yes. Oh my gosh. What about the rest of you? Yes. Yes. Okay. Ismael. No. Lauren. Three years ago, I I used. <gasps> Two years ago, you, you were uh, air balloon? Oh, I yeah. went to Pyramides in Mexico. Pyramids, yeah. In balloon, yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes, I agree. No more. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, can you hear me? Yes. Excellent. Yes. Perfect. Thank you very much. Let's continue. Now, in the next one. A different travel experience. Fill in the first two blanks in each conversation with expressions from the lesson. So the first two blanks. Blank number one. Blank number two. You will complete them with the, exp the expressions on the book. You mean, you're saying, what you're saying, or in what way? Yes, go ahead, please. What would you write number one? Terrifying in what way? Perfect. Can you write it, please? Yes. Very good, thank you. Now, next, well, I think I would just panic all the time. I wouldn't enjoy one minute of it. What can you say here? You are saying that? Yes, you're saying that, or another expression you mean, or what you're saying is correct. Okay. Okay. Now, on the last one, on the last part over here, what you're going to do is pick one expression from the box. Number one. 
this box right there. So which expression would you pick? No ideas? Which one would you pick from there to write in here? There is the rest of the exercise. I, exactly, I guess. Oh. Number two, you know, I think adventure travel must be a bit boring. I'm not sure what you mean. Boring. In what way? In what way? Perfect. Can you please type it? Okay. And next. You mean that? Okay. That's good. Annie, can you yes. write for me, please? Go ahead and uh, write the answers on your book, page 111, for okay. in one minute, and then we'll compare answers, okay? Okay. I finished it. Perfect. Okay, compare answers, ladies, please. Mm. Number one, letter B, I wrote your saying that. Mm, yes, we have the same. Wait a minute, please. Okay, yes. Okay. Did you get a sniff, Annie? What? I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. Are you sick? I am sick? No. <laughs> oh, He's so good. I'm fine. Just I'm, yesterday I was so oh, busy. I mean, you sound moromada. I don't know how do you say. Uh, maybe it could be my allergy. Oh. I, allergy? <laughs> I like you really to cold and um, how do you say pollen? I don't know. I, I don't know. Pollen. I don't know. The same pollen. Yes, so today is colder than yesterday, and I wake up with allergy. Maybe uh, my voice, my voice, sound like I am mormada. How do you say mormada? I don't know. <gasps> uh, uh, congested. Congested. Oh, yes. Congested. Yes. Yes. <sighs> All right, please compare your answers. Yes. Number one, I wrote in the, the last one A, I mean, I change you for I. I mean, you have to trust the pilot and, I, and hope you landed safely. What do you think? In the number one? Yes, the last one, letter A. I'm right. It would be like expanding your vacation impression. 
Oh my God. But we have to write it with the words in the in the box. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. I don't know if I. Mm, what do you have, letter number two? Number two, letter B, in what way? Yes. Letter B, I wrote, you mean that? And eventually it's something you organize yourself. The last one, um, I will, I guess it's better to do it with your friends then. Mm -hmm. What about you, Annie? I, in the last one, number two, I wrote, I mean, I mean an, adver an adventure is something that just happens. Nobody organize it. Yeah, I have the same. Jackie? Uh, B, in what way? Second B, you mean? And A, the same that any, an adventure is something that just happened. Yeah, Number three. Mm. I have you mean the first one. The yeah, same. Yes, you mean. Letter B. Mm. In what way? Yes, in what way? Yes. And le the last one. Oh, you have to trust. I'm confused. <laughs> But challenging is in what way? No? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let me see you think. Confused, All right, ladies, ready? Gentlemen? Yeah. Are you, are you there, Ismael? I guess. Okay. So, can you please, uh, you already compared your answers. Now let's fill it up. Number one, some scuba divers did an underwater, underwater vacation for two weeks. Yes. Wouldn't that be just terrifying? Terrifying. In what way? Please continue complete the sentences, please. Okay. Mm, letter B, you are saying that, are you, do you agree? That's yes, yes, yes. So, oh my God, this And the last one. I don't know. Um, honey, what do you think? Because I have. I, I wrote, you have to trust, but I think 
That sentence is number three, the last one. Yes, I have that. So here it will be like spending your vacation in prison. Yes. Okay. Sounds weird, but it's a yes. Number two. Number two. In what way? Yeah. And then you mean? You mean? You mean? You mean that. You mean an advantage? No. An adventure is something, no? Yes. An adventure. It. <laughs> Number three. You mean? You mean? Yeah. You mean? And then in what way? In that way. In what way? And the last one, you have to trust, yes. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. That's perfect. That's good. That's great. That's awesome. So please take a picture. Let's go and practice in sessions, okay? Okay. There, let's go. Ready, ladies and gentlemen? Ready, guys? Ismael and Jackie? Yes. Perfect. Let's continue with the next one. Where's your Teacher. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah, tell me. Mm, for example, number two, letter, the last one, letter A. Yeah. We can say, no, I mean an adventure. Yeah, you can add I mean. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Now, can you read this, Maya, please? 
Yeah. The first, uh, practice the conversation in exercise A. Again, give your opinions and they tell us start the conversations about different kinds of unusual trips. Yes, now give your personal opinion, example. Uh, some scuba divers did an underwater vacation for two weeks. Wouldn't that just be, what do you think guys? What would that be like? A scary, incredible, awesome, beautiful, excellent. What would that be like? Wouldn't that be just awesome? Awesome? What about you guys? What do you think? Frustrating. Frustrating? <laughs> <laughs> Lauren? Amazing. Amazing. And Ismael? Uh, okay. So you have to listen to your classmate and ask in what way? And your classmate has to give more details. Or number two, you know, I think an adventure travel must be a bit, a bit what, guys? Mm. Terrifying. Terrifying? Yeah, what about you, Lauren? What do you think? Mm. What about you, Jackie? Interesting. Interesting, perfect. So what you have, your classmates have to listen and respond in what way? And then you respond with your opinion, with more information. Or the third one, I think going up a higher balloon would be quite, quite what? Cardiac. <laughs> what about you, Lauren? What do you think? Do you agree with Annie? Or think of your own type of adventure. Okay? Whatever you can think of. All you have to do is share your opinion about a type of activity. And your classmates have to listen. Okay, mm -hmm. if I tell you guys, I think skydiving is absolutely crazy. What do you have to say? Crazy in what way? In what way? Yes, and I can respond. To jump from a plane a thousand feet off the ground, you have to be crazy. <laughs> <to jump. laughs> okay, so just like that. Okay, go ahead, guys. Whatever you want, it's, the mic I, is yours. I think climbing in the ice, or how, it could be a mountain covered ice. You could talk about Mount Everest. Oh, yes. I think climb, climbing the Everest is mm, terrifying. In what way? Because you could die. You could die there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. I agree with Dani. You could. <laughs> You die if you fall or you die with the eyes because it's cold. It's cold. So I, I think 
is terrified. Yeah. If you travel alone, it's worse. Worse in one way. Because uh, the other person, uh, they can help you, but you alone is more difficult if you have a problem. Yes, but I think you can make friends there. <laughs> I don't see them. <laughs> yes, yeah, you're right. <laughs> the last one, the third. No, the third. The third. The third? I, I think it's the third because the third is. The third? It is a, a dessert. something sweet. Dessert. Yes. Dessert. Dessert. And, and this right there is also a dessert. Yeah. Yes. So teacher, yeah. How do you how do you pronounce postre? Dessert. This. Dessert. Yes. Dessert. Dessert. Dessert, okay. yes. Okay. Continue, please. And where is dessert? Dessert is what you eat after lunch, after dinner. Cake, ice cream, yogurt, candies. Dessert. 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 And this is the type of natural place that is a desert. Desert. Oh. Desert. Yes, Jackie? The natural place. Yes. Yeah. All right, continue, please. Right. <laughs> Riding a camel. <laughs> Would be interesting. Interesting in what way? I mean, you are riding a camel. It's also, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> the back. <laughs> okay, guys. What about you, Ismael? I'm listening to the ladies talk, but you don't say nothing, sir. Are you okay? And he doesn't want to speak. Okay. Ismael, what activity do you prefer? <laughs> yes, you can invent an activity. You can go swimming. You can go dancing. Go to the movies. You know, going to the movies is awesome. Yes. Awesome in what way? <laughs> Annie, please, can you continue? Oh, my gosh. Uh, because you can watch the movies in a big screen. Or, for example, here in CD, CDMX, we have... That's not CDMX, that's the CD. You mean T, TMA, TH, huh? THMX? Surround sound, THMX. EHMX. I can't remember. T. The surround sound? T H. Jackie, do you remember? No. Something, something X, right? Right, ja Annie? But I was I was saying here in C D M X. CDMX. That's the CDMX. That's here in CD, ah, there in your city. Yes, ah, we okay. have, we have uh, for for the X, no, 
for the for the yeah for the for the right. okay is everybody finished can we continue with the next class the next lesson i mean yes yes lauren yes okay close your eyes for a second please okay Now, let me bring out the other one on screen. I hope you like it. Okay, I know when you can see it. Not yet? Can you Close. see it, guys? Yes. What do you see? Mm. Mm, friends. Friends? No. Friends. Friends? Okay. Well, Can, you read? Can you read, please? Yes. No. No, read, read. Oh, read. Global tourism. 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 Yes. What do you in the picture you see? What do you see in the picture? Mm. Landmarks. Rio de Janeiro. Famous landmarks. Egypt. Yes. Perfect. What do you see here? Oh my gosh. A street. In Japan, maybe? Maybe. Here? Buddha. Here. Abura. Abura. Rio de Janeiro. Cancun, maybe. <laughs> Travel industry. Travel industry. Reading. Is tourism a big industry in your country, guys? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. In which areas? Tours. What? Tours. Tourism. Is it big in, in uh, Mexico? Yes. Yeah. In which areas? Beaches. What? Mountains. Mountains? What else? Magic Town. Magic Towns, okay. Hmm. Archaeological zone. sites. Archaeological sites. sites, yes. Museums. Museums, okay. What are the benefits? Mm. Mm, people have jobs. Okay, what else? Increase the economy. Okay, increase the economy. What else? Is that it? Mm -hmm. What about the, the drawbacks? Drawbacks. What does it mean drawbacks? Mm. The, the opposite of benefits. There are uh, pollution. Pollution, yeah. What about uh, what about you, Lauren? What do you think? Mm. 
a lot of trash. Pollution. Jackie, what do you think? The same. Contamination. Same. Contamination, yes. What about you, Ismail? What do you think? Yeah, a little contamination. Yeah, a lot of contamination. So we're going to read an article about the tourism threat. Okay, can you please read the first part? The first uh, sentence, Lauren, please. Tourism is one of the world's largest in industries. Thank you. Who's next? Jackie, next please. According to the World Travel and Tourism Council, it's a two trillion businesses that directly accounts for almost one in 11 jobs globally. Thank you. Annie, next please. Worldwide, many countries have come to rely, rely, rely heavily on tourism as an important part of their economy, while other countries such as some of the smaller Caribbean island nations are almost completely depend on tourism for their survival. Dependent. Dependent. Perfect. We're going to read this article and tell me, what is one of the biggest threats? No, you can't find it. One of the biggest threats is environmental. Yeah, but what is the the threat? What is the what is one of the biggest threats? Destroy those be very beautiful landscapes. No. No. The building of roads, hotels, oh. and resorts. Correct? Okay. Yes, Lauren? Because they can quickly destroy those very beautiful landscapes on which tourism depends in the first place. Yes, Lauren? Yes. Yeah, Jackie, this way. Yes. Okay, next question. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Yes. What does tourism put pressure on? On a scare, a scare water supplies? On the scarce water supplies. There you go. Perfect. What percentage of air travel does tourism account for? Sixty percent. Sixty percent. Right. Oh. Now read and tell me what are the benefits.
revenues from park and trust fees pay for the protection. Can you highlight it, please? Can you highlight it, please? Yes. Let me help her. Perfect. Good job. Another benefit? It can lead to alternative employment opportunities. Can you please highlight it? Yes. Another one? Lauren? Brings people into close contact with the natural areas. Please highlight it. Wow. Perfect. Very good. Is there more or is that it? It could be uh, schools for tourists now hire local people. Can you please highlight it? Yes. Very good. Um, yeah, this is good. <laughs> Thanks, teacher. You're very welcome. Great. Now that we have that, what are the drawbacks? Tourism is also responsible for producing huge amounts of waste. Can you highlight it, please? Yes. Tourism accounts for about 60% of air travel, waste, noise, and air pollution, which have. Yes. Can you please highlight it? Yes. Is that it or is there more? Mm. Swimming pools and golf course consume almost twice as much water as local residents. Can you highlight this? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Very good. Perfect. Is there more? Jackie, Annie? It even affects remote regions like the Himalayas. Yes. Can yeah, can you highlight it? There you go. Affect remote regions. Perfect. Thank you. Next. Can you read, Lauren, please? Yes. Read for topic. The writer of the article mentions a number of aspects that tourism has. Which four of these aspects mentioned? Go ahead. Mark the four topics mentioned, and then you compare answers, please. Thank you. 